Arctic sovereignty. What is your party's plan to protect our sovereignty in the Arctic? The Democrat plan is essentially always comes down to investing in communities. By investing in infrastructure into the small towns, communities up there, more attractive to have more people up there. Uh, whether it's whether it's military establishments or ports, um, by having more people there, they'll slowly expand and they'll have a broader footprint for Canada to, to grow up there. Um, thus, thus ensuring a lot of the sovereignty. And, and investing in Canadian-made um, ships to patrol the area, rather than looking overseas, um, there's no reason that we should buy our, our, those sort of, our naval ships from South Korea when they can be built here in, in Canada. Arctic sovereignty is very important today because we know that there is a great deal of oil under the polar ice cap and everybody wants to lay claim to it. The United States, Russia, China, Canada, there are countless nations trying to lay claim to our, what we consider to be our Arctic. And we need to protect it. We need to protect it from being robbed of the oil that's under there. That oil should stay where it is. Because by drilling, we will create a climate catastrophe. We need to find clean, safe, alternate sources of energy so that we are no longer dependent upon oil. We need to leave the oil where it is so that we won't destroy our environment. Thank you. Amy raises a very good point, of course, because there's no one in the world that we see the effects of global warming more than we are in the Arctic right now, where the, you know, we've all seen the pictures of the Arctic ice cap shrinking and shrinking and the open water growing. That's only going to continue, so there will be more pressure on us to, uh, to find more resources and protect the sovereignty there. Our position is we need to develop the north, somewhat as Rob was talking about. We need to make sure there's more infrastructure, more regional development money flowing there, give people a reason to move there, give them good jobs, make sure we're using the resources in an environmentally sensitive and responsible manner. We don't really subscribe to the conservative point of view that we should build some more naval vessels and have them rolling around in the Arctic waters. It's a very short-sighted, um, very ineffective way to do this. The way you establish sovereignty over any territory is to move your people in and to establish productive, healthy communities in the north. And now that the climate is changing a bit, it actually is becoming more and more fortuitous for us to do that. And that is our vision of a north that is strong and free. sovereignty because I'll tell you what it's about, what's going on up there right now. And it's really exciting. Yes, there is melting. For the first time, we are actually thinking about using the Northwest Passage for shipping lanes, building a deep water port up there, cutting down on the amount of travel that goods have to have travel before reaching. But the most recent mission that was conducted by a naval vessel, the HMC of Toronto, was far more reaching. Did you know that tourism in the Arctic has grown exponentially? It is becoming bigger and bigger up there. There's going to be a likelihood of polar commercial flights going through that area as we have more tourism. We know that the fish are migrating further north. The Navy provides both fisheries resources in order to bring fisheries officers up there. And secondly, they also provide the ability to transport scientists and individuals there in order to do their studies. Most importantly, they conduct exercises on how to respond to cataclysmic, terrible accidents in the north. Because right now, there is no way to deploy any forces should we have a catastrophe up there with respect to either tourism vessels or commercial flights. And that's why the gutting of military spending that the Liberals are proposing in their plan will absolutely hurt Arctic sovereignty and won't allow us to go ahead and have our continental shelf claims considered an appropriate place to ship. Thank you very much.